In this video, we are going to take a look at a few things like resizing an object, flipping and rotating an object, and then also merging objects, uh, mostly shapes. So let's take a look at resizing first. I think we already looked at this in the previous video, so you can click on it. an object. It could be an image or an illustration. So let's click on the image. You can go to, hover over, any one of these circles on the bounding box. Okay, so the bounding box is what contains the image or the drawing. Okay, and then you would, when you see the double arrow, you would click and drag it, right? Drag it in and out. Okay, then that resizes it. Same as this. And there you go. All right, next is to flip and rotate. So if I wanted this giraffe to be facing the other way, okay, so I would click. Let me just make that a bit smaller so you can see the other end. <coughs> All right, so you can see the other circle over here on this side. So if I wanted to flip it, I'm going to click on this and then bring it over to the other side. There we go. And now it's facing the other way. Okay, so let's try that again, this time with the photograph. Okay, so I'm just gonna bring it over that way. So now they're all facing the other way. You can also rotate it if I wanted to rotate. I can hover over this, okay? And notice I'm hovering over this arrow that's curved here. I'm going to hover over it and then I'm going to click and drag my mouse and I can rotate it. There we go. I can also merge shapes. Okay, you can't, obviously, you can't merge a photograph onto um, an illustration, but if you had two shapes, you can merge it. So let's create a new page. Okay. And I'm going to put some shapes on here. So if I wanted to merge a rectangle, okay, give it a different style here, rectangle and a circle. If I wanted to merge these two shapes, like so, I can select them both, all right, and go to Oops, if you go to shape format, and over here in insert shapes, I can go to merge shapes, and I click on that arrow there to drop down, and I can unite them with the union. So union unites it. As I hover over, it shows you what that would look like. I can combine it. Okay, when I combine it, the part that's intersecting gets cut out. I can fragment it then all these would be individual pieces, okay? All right, so I'm just gonna go back here and always show ribbon, okay. And I'm gonna undo it. There we go. <clears throat> so next I'm going to go back and select both shapes. If you don't see merge shapes show up if it's grayed out, Okay, if it's grayed out at all, it's because you've only selected one shape. So make sure you select both shapes. And go down here, and you can also do intersect. So intersect would only show the part where both shapes are touching and overlapping, or you can go subtract. Okay, so that subtracts over here, subtracts the shape. The circle is subtracted by the rectangle. All right, so those are different ways you can play with your shapes to create new shapes.